finally. I know I'm like 25, but haven't read the Harry Potter series. It has an aspect where it goes into a bachelor type. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a little bit of something different, something I haven't quite done before, but I wanted to share this with you and just try it out. So I'm going to do my first ever book review with you guys and I do really enjoy reading. I just don't have that much time to read unfortunately, but over the summer while I was unemployed I read all of the Harry Potter series finally. I know I'm like 25 but haven't read the Harry Potter series, but I finally did and I finished it. I absolutely loved it. And my sister actually put me on to this series. She loves reading and she is more into, you know, mysteries and stuff like that. So she knew she wasn't going to be a huge fan of this book, so she gave it to me instead. This is the book I'm talking about right here. It is a pretty long series and no, it is not anything super new. Um, I think it's been around for a little while. I'm not sure. Oh, it does say around 2012 is when at least this cover art was made. So is a little bit older book. It is categorized as a teen fiction novel or young adult. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of this book just so you have an idea of what it's like. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. But this is definitely something I would have loved as a teenager and I still love it now. So this is the first book of the series, The Selection. Basically, I feel like it starts off and kind of has the same characteristics as um, The Handmaid's Tale, which is just in the like government aspect of it, basically. Basically, there's a, something that happens along the way in US history that changes the whole dynamic of the government. So the whole government system is changed and basically they go back into almost regency type era where they have kings and queens they have a caste system so basically you are one through eight on the number system one being royalty and eight being homeless so that is basically how the government is set up in this book so it is quite different from what we are now obviously it basically then goes into a book kind of similar a resemblance to The Bachelor whereas the prince gets to choose his wife and basically 35 women get randomly randomly selected to go to the castle and go through this process where the prince finds his wife. So this is a great read um, if you're into romance or anything like that. Pretty much it is more of a romance novel. Um, if you love gowns and you know all of that Regency type air stuff, I believe you would really like this book as well. We have an interesting love triangle dynamic that happens in the book. This is basically out of one point of view of the main person. Her name is America Singer and it is all from her point of view is what the story is how the story is being told and she actually never wants to be a part of the selection so this is an interesting read I don't want to give away too much so I think I'm gonna leave it at that there is a bunch of books in this series so there is a total of six books in the series they do actually have some extra ones as well but the second book is called the elite I just picked this one up today um, and then the one after that is called the one and I think that kind of wraps up the first part of the books and then we have happily ever after this one is different. I'm going to have to probably do a review on this one afterwards, but this basically has the point of view of the queen and the prince, um, the guard, some of the other, like the maid and some of the other characters. Um, and then it kind of has a section, where are they now? So this is, I think, a little bit of a different perspective of book. And then it goes on to have the heir and the crown as well. So there's a whole series on this. 
Um, they have another book that's the series of selections and it kind of goes more in depth into like the other perspectives. So quite a big series. I picked up the first few four books. So a selection, Elite, The One, Happily Ever After. And then after that, it goes The Heir and The Crown. So these books I believe are going to be great. If you want me or if you really like this video, I will do more reviews on the next few books, but I will actually be reading The Elite right after I film this video. So this was something I read really fast in a week where I only have about an hour or two before bed where I read. So really nice book, really interesting. I really love it. Also going to throw in here, since we're talking about books, I'm going to bring this one up because I did say that I read the Harry Potter books. I actually don't own the Harry Potter books myself, but I borrowed my sister's books. So I have been wanting to get my own series just to have. Um, one day I want to, you know, read these to my kids or something like that, or reread them myself. So I finally picked up one of the Harry Potter books, and this one is pretty brand new for the style of book. This is the Mina Lima series where they um, basically designed and illustrated the book. So it has illustrations and it's just such a beautiful book that I had to get it. And this is the series that I'm going to be buying once all of them are out. The, this is only the first book and they have cute little pop-ups and interactives. They just have everything that's like super cute and interactive. They have amazing illustrations on here. Almost every page has something a little bit unique. So this is something I could definitely see um, reading to my kid one day. And they have this like little letter and you can actually open it up and read what the letter says. This book is just so cute. So there's just so many cute interactives within this book and I am going to purchase the rest of the series um, slowly as they come out. The next one in the series is actually not coming out until this fall. So I just wanted to throw that in here if you're a Harry Potter fan and this just brings a little bit more magic even though I don't know how you could have possibly wanted more magic but this this has it. So it's absolutely gorgeous and this is the series that I'm going to be buying so I'm super excited about it. So that is it for my first book review. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if this is something you want to see more of or not. I mean it's open to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!